The next thing we do after we have our subfloors in and we have our uh, walls kind of where we want them, still might need to make some changes, of course, as I keep saying, because I know from experience that that generally happens. But now you can see a picture. This is a Revit model that has been rendered and it has kitchen cabinets, windows, upper cabinets, and countertops. And the next tutorial, that, this tutorial that we're going to work on now, is simply going to show the uh, countertops, how to put the countertops in. Actually, just to kind of lay out where the countertops might be. So I come over to my kitchen area, and I'm, I'm not drawing the countertops, I'm just sort of using a a reference line in order to sort of lay out where I think my countertops will be. And that will be the extent of this uh, tutorial. It'll be a quick one. But basically up to the annotate tab, detail line. And now I'm telling Revit's going to draw a detail line, but I want it to be two feet offset from wherever I draw the line. So I come up to here and I say two feet offset. So I'm going to draw a line right on this gypsum board. It's on the wrong side of the gypsum of the wall, so I hit the space bar. And now I'm just drawing in reference lines. I'm trying to lay out kind of how I think, detail line, two foot offset, where I think the countertops might be. And so notice that I'm not really too concerned about uh, accuracy other than the two foot offset. And click here, go straight up like that. So basically, these would be my countertops in, in concept. And I want to put an island in the middle. Generally, I like five foot space between the countertop and the island. So I'll simply, oh, I'll just grab this and copy it over five feet. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll grab this and copy it over five feet. Using my mouse to show the direction and my keyboard to show the distance. And then I'm gonna copy this five feet. And now the question is how deep do I want my island to be? So a lot of space here, because remember I had to make this wall larger to accommodate the master bedroom upstairs. So I'm gonna make my countertop 12, my island 12 feet long for now. Might be bigger, might be smaller. And there we go. So this is my thought process. It's really rough and this is as far as I would clean it up because these are, these are just reference lines, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more, modify, fill it, just so that you might be able to, to see the thought process here. I'm hitting the space bar to uh, be able to continue here. And so I'll draw another line, annotate, detail line. I'll draw a line across here. Oops, didn't want that. I'll draw a line straight across here. And that's basically and I'll draw another one across here. And that's basically what my modify, fill it. So that's the beginning layout of my kitchen. Now I like my island, I like my island to be wider than that. So instead of five feet walkways, I'm going to move each one, each side of this by a foot. And so I can have uh, four feet walkways. And that's the layout. So I can see that if I leave my opening into the kitchen here, I'll be walking into the um, cabinets. So let's do that. I like to have six inch returns. And what that means is really just from the face of the wall or the countertop. So I'll click on this and change that to six inches. Now I have a six inch return. So I can put some nice uh, casing around there. And if you remember, we're probably gonna be in the kitchen. We wanna walk into the dining room. So these openings should align. So I'll go back to the align command. 
hover until I see the midpoint of that opening. And then now they're both completely lined up. So when we're preparing food in the kitchen and we want to take it into the dining room, those sort of line up together. So I can see that my countertop's probably not good. I'm going to use the mirror command, click on that object, mirror this. I'll click on this first and then say mirror. And then it's going to mirror about the center line of that opening. And then I can fill it, these two. And that's, um, I wouldn't normally clean this up because these are just guidelines, but I will clean it up so that it makes more, a little more sense what I'm uh, doing here. So that's what you want to do in your kitchen is try to lay out where you want the countertops to be. And that's what we've done here is we've sort of laid it out where we want the countertops to be. These are guidelines. We're going to use these guidelines to actually make our kitchen countertops. But I'll let you stop here and give you an opportunity to uh, lay your kitchen out how you think it might be. Don't worry about right now. Don't worry about appliances. I will put those in later, but the purpose of this tutorial was simply to line up your your kitchen, try to get your an idea where your counters are going to go.